I'm just going to make this video really quick to show um, the false teaching that, you know, the new birth doesn't happen until after death. Um, so there's this churchathome.org, and this is one of the articles. There's a video where he talks about it. I was going to do that, but I found this article, and I just figured I'd show this really quick. But what does it mean to be born again? Are Christians really born again at conversion and baptism? And so this this calls, uh, you know, the standard born again doctrine, which I would adhere to. It calls it pagan. And I'm not going to go into reading all this or refuting all of this. That might be interesting in the future. I mean, I already did refute it, you know, that, uh, you know, it's a condition to enter the kingdom of heaven and people are already born again in this life. Um, because of the past tense. But here it says, when is one actually born again? It says, since one is not born again at baptism or conversion, when is one literally born again or born anew? Is it through the, the birth, life, death, and resurrection? Or it says it is through the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ that the New Testament reveals when a person is born again. Matthew wrote that Jesus was the firstborn of the Virgin Mary, Jesus' human birth was by water. He was flesh as any other human being, but he was God manifested in the flesh. And Jesus was resurrected from the dead by the glory of the Father. He was the firstborn from the dead. Therefore, Jesus was born again, born of the Spirit at the time he was resurrected from the dead, exactly as he told Nicodemus. That which has been born of the Spirit is Spirit. And I uh, think that, uh, um, I don't think that we would ever say that Jesus was born again at all. Um, I don't think so, because Jesus was God. He wasn't, uh, uh, he didn't have the sinful nature. He didn't need to be born again. Um, I think it's only fallen men who need to be born again. So, uh, you know, I've, I've been, I've gotten a lot of material from this guy. If you live in the United States, you can get books from this guy. And, uh, I've actually requested more, but I've got all of these for free in the mail. So, I mean, some of them has some good stuff in it, uh. You no, know, like there's one on occult holidays. I haven't read all through it, but it talks about Halloween and uh, you know this one that kind of talks about abortion and you know how it's sinful and all that. But uh, there's a lot of them. This guy, I guess he made his own Bible, and his name's Fred Coulter, and uh, I guess he had some problems with the King James, so he made his own Bible. It's pretty much like the King James, but a little bit changed. And uh, it's called, like, the Holy Bible in its original order. And I'm not promoting it or anything. I mean, that's, you know, I believe the King James Bible is the Word of God. But I'm just talking about this guy. And uh, I didn't realize how crazy his doctrines was until recently, until I saw this video that was talking about this. But, yeah, uh, someone else asked me about this, and I'm... I'm guessing that they maybe didn't get it from this site, but maybe from someone else. So this must be somewhat of a popular teaching. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that it would be wrong to say that Jesus wasn't born again, that he, he didn't need to get born again. So, anyway, you can come here and check this out, but uh, it's a bunch of falsehood, so... God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.